You are watching Access LaFort County, Channel 97. Coming up next is a January 9th, 2023 meeting of the Long Beach Town Council. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportcounty.org. Yep. All right, good evening. Thanks for joining us on uh, today, January 24th. Uh, for Long Beach Reverend Mark Hammond, annual monthly meeting. Oh. Monthly meeting. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, first order of business, and we call the meeting to order. And um, it is a motion to approve November's meeting minutes from the meeting, which actually was our last meeting, was November. I'll move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Hi. Um, Sarah, are you out in the audience anywhere? Nope, that's okay. If you're not, if you join us later, let us know. Um, you can do an activities coordinator update. Um, but while I'm on that subject, um, do we know if the town clerk's office paid the outstanding bill? Do we ever get an answer on that they he did not pay the November, December, January. Yes, they were not paid. Uh, I do know that I submitted the January one to Helen and she told me they are in the queue. She cannot meet with me until after February 6th. And I did not know that November and December were not paid, but I sent another copy of those to the chief today. So he will try to get her paid for all three this week. Thank you. He's doing awesome jobs. Um, Janice is here to give us the Beach Garden Club update. Joy, uh, let me know that after. you might want to stand up there and then hit that microphone mm -hmm. just so if anyone listens to the recording. There, that should. Did Great. you do a written report by any chance? No, it's okay, it's well, okay. No, no, that's short. Mm -hmm. Joy, let me know. We'll have four thousand dollars. Thank you very much. We're going to work together. Also, um, the. Memorial Garden so that we can put the Memorial Bricks as an extension from the Community Center in the Memorial Garden. And I'm working with Stu to get a plan for that. Um, I have a couple questions at the end. Nice, that's one of them. The, we will also, from Beach Garden Club, take on Stop 24 from our organization. So we'll have a few volunteers to work at Stop 24 to assist with Anita and I for initial mean polling and <laughs> excitement that we had at Stop 24. And then um, the question I have, the two questions, working on the Memorial Garden area and the plan that we put forth, I wanted to know, at first we were talking about um, having Dan Healy's company do that. Zach said he was wondering if we should have quotes. Um, I wanted to know how to go about that for having that installed and also using the grant um, guidelines for stock 24 and the work that needs to be done there. So I think my suggestion would always try and get as many quotes as possible. Sometimes you're only gonna get one quote, especially that's how it used to be with the pandemic and just landscapers not some aren't interested, but we always try and make an attempt. So, you know, try and reach out to people, see if they're willing to quote it, and, and then you guys can still make a decision and you don't have to necessarily go with the cheapest bidder. You cannot go with who you, you know, think would do the best job, but um, they, um, I don't know. It's, it's like there's a hard and fast rule that's over a certain amount of money, but I don't think we're at that. But still, best practices just right. you know try and see if people will quote it, and then you guys can make your decision. The other thing Chief and I talked about was uh, we're going to switch the irrigation over to. Um, uh, Is it Mike's business? No, no the um, service game because that's who the town uses. So we want to, he was looking to consolidate suppliers, which I think is a great idea too. Okay. So um, instead of, is it down to earth now? Yes, down to okay. earth. Okay, okay. So you let them know yes. if that's gonna switch? Yeah, I'll contact Because they do Mel, they'll do service gate, will do Melrose too then if that's who we switch to. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Um, oh, I have a question about the Memorial Garden. So 
first step is we'll get a plan from Stu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, any rough idea what that might cost? Um, right the end of February. What are the oh, cost? The cost? No, I don't have a cost. Okay. When he did the one for the area out here, mm -hmm. did, what was the cost? It was a bit funny. I didn't do Oh, else. we were going to put in all the flowers and everything, and Dan Healy was going to. But I mean, the cost of the planes. Oh, that was Stu's cost. Oh, that was paid for for my beach garden. Okay, okay. but do you, do, you, do you know what it costs? I don't know what. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> in a roundabout. <laughs> That's how I did that. I don't know, I'm thinking we need, you know, a thousand dollars for Stu's plans or something. And I would say it will be under a thousand. Okay. But it's just one little session that needs to be redone. Okay. Thank you. Just trying to keep track of everything. Hey. Yes, since we have to. Um, staff updates. Uh, this is for me, stop 21 from 23. We are just delayed on the um, railings because of the vendor, um, if that's what it's called, that we were using is shop burn down. So they had said spring, and I haven't gotten an update from him lately. So um, I still have no update as to when those railings can be started for 21 and 23. In light, in light of those railings, I have asked Chris. Now, I haven't heard back from him yet, and I did copy the council on it. Last year, we hadn't budgeted for this, so we had a public meeting to access the $20,000 out of our spare funds. Uh, we were going to do that in the fall. Then their place burned down. So we had not budgeted for this in the 2023 thing because we thought it was going to be taken out last fall. So I've asked Chris, since we've had one public meeting and we had the okay to do that, but the place burned down and we had to go out to the spring, do we have to have another public meeting to access that $20,000? When I hear from him, I'll let him know. Okay. He's not good at getting back to me, but I don't know if we should. Yeah, well, as slow as they've been to respond and behind on their schedule, I think we can always roll it into our um, February meeting in that account, right? We don't have to have a special. No. So it can just be part of our February uh, agenda then, hopefully, right. if we need to, if we need to. Okay, thank you. Um, encroachments at beach stocks, we've been talking about this, and I think Joyce is the um, photos you brought here. Yeah, these are from Beacon Schneider uh, of each stop. So, um, I don't know, this seems like it's kind of Zach's baby, so Maybe we wait till Zach is back, but we can each look at these and see, you know, some stops we can pick out and say, oh, there's obviously no encroachment. Some yeah. stops we can see obvious stuff, but maybe at the next meeting we can discuss them all. Okay, let's put that on our agenda to dive in a little bit. I mean, um, yeah, just table, table that to the next meeting. Okay. Um, Old business, I think Anita has what might be our final signage for the pickleball slash tennis court signs. No, no, that was, that's the current one. So what I needed was help in figuring out the wording. Oh, I thought you had some suggestions of what to say. No, the only thing that Norm Brummer said was, you know, we have to just say tennis slash pickleball only. So I don't know how you want to... Um, if you don't want, if you want to leave off, no skateboards, bike, rollerblades, no dogs. It's just figuring out the exact. No, he just said it should say pickleball and tennis. Should it say racket sports only or just pickleball tennis? I don't know. That's what I'm looking at. I mean, that's, okay. it's wordy. So that's what I'm trying to figure out what we want. Would they play another racket sport? What is a racket, racket sport? Is there any other racket sport in the world? Looking at Collins and Senate. Oh, uh, we don't. Uh -oh. I'm just thinking to make it less. Right. Or you know, can just, you know, the other thing was like, how then do we say like play by the rules? Or do, I, my feeling when I talk to normals, I don't think we have to say that. If you're there playing and someone's waiting to play tennis, everybody knows the rules and step aside. Okay. So uh, it's just a matter of do we say tennis slash 
pickleball only? I mean, please, do we need please? Like, what do we yes, want to say? Please. Right, so yes. tennis slash yes. still leave, however they need. Pickleball only. And then it said no skateboards. Bikes, rollerblades, or dogs. I don't even see why you have another no down there. Like, can't we just put dogs? Yeah, we can just, I would say yeah. Just, so just put no, just the same as it is, but leave out the no before dog. Mm -hmm. Delete. And Chief will do a draft of it, yeah. so. It exactly. So no skateboards, bikes, rollerblades. So what else do people do? Are they even but tennis shoes, shoes required? Yeah. It's got some signs down. Wait, way. what does it have? Tennis shoes required because then that takes care of no skateboards, no rollerblading, no roller skates. Not if they were tennis shoes. Rollers. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, oh. you say tennis shoes are required, they're going to stay out with tennis shoes and that. And we're going to make my dog later. <laughs> well, I'm just going to chime in and say, I, I, we might not have enough room, but I would like well, some sort of warrant, warrant wording like, please sh share the court or um, just for like young kids that know like, hey, like I can say something or it, if I'm not voted, that's fine. If there's not enough. You mean for like, tennis and pickleball? Yeah, like something underneath is like, please, please respect, um, please share the court or um well, that's the problem then, because you really should know, most people know the rules, and that's what Norm was saying, like when there was a problem and people were playing tennis too long, it's an hour. So if you're playing a match, your hour is up, and people should be pretty good about substituting. I mean, otherwise, we're going to have these crazy, they tell them. They tell them. So people up, that's the rule. And even my daughters, like a few times they went, nobody was playing anything. And then one time they went and a couple people were playing pickleball and they just waited. And then the pickleball people see them. And then the ones who started first moved off the court. So I don't, you know, if the police department's across the street, I guess if they, they can go and who reads that sign anyhow? I mean, I, I, go, I go by that sign a thousand times, as have you, and I still have to go take a photo of it. So that I do. Yeah, that's true. And it doesn't even have our apartment apartment. We had to walk them off. People just go, oh, all right. here standing there yelling. Here's this, and they just ignore the place. So, so I'll just yeah. people just okay. do a draft, and he's going to put the logo on it. And you know, if it turns out to be problematic, then we'll deal with it again. I'll let Norm know this when the draft is done. I'll send him the sign and say, "Here's what we're doing." If there's a problem, I know they talked about a place with their their rackets and stuff. We talked about a bench or something, that memorial bench. But you know, when you go by there, they bring their own chairs. So. Yeah, I don't want to I mean, put anything else in there that we have to like remove or. or. No, no, I'm, that's what I'm saying. They bring their own chairs. The, if they are grown adults and they're everybody's figuring it out, and that's all we have. So if it becomes a big problem. No one is known, and then yes, we, we have another system. These are the rules. Yeah, yeah. So okay. let's start with this, and that sounds good. Thank you. Um, I didn't know, Joy, is there an update on pruning in the park or is that old? Is it on there from before? The update on that is that was a couple of reports on this from our budget. So that may or may not be done this year, depending on that early town and where we can find it. Um, Community center update. Anything else to report? Uh, you did a lot of hard work. Thank you, Sarah. Yep. Okay. We're going to put the floor in room two, right? That's room two. The floor is going in room two, right? 14. 14. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, the vote came in at 3795, I think, and the previous two calls from 4265. That's really nice. So we're going with that one. Hopefully it's going to start this week or next week. Um, once that's taken care of, then 
Good. Cool. Okay. So room 14 that it will be done $3,795 and probably soon if we know Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> she, I can't tell you how many people she's trying to get to the war. Which is not just a summer. Right. Didn't do it. Okay. Well, yeah, that's going to be right along. I think it's going to be a nice little period. But awesome. Um, the next two, uh, four and five for me, volleyball net, I sent um, some recommend or some things I thought of on to some other people that run volleyball programs in the city, and I just have not heard back on what they recommend. I wanted some other opinions, so I don't have anything on that yet ready to purchase, but um, that should be five or $600 maximum for everything, approximately. I mean, the poles, the the anchors that are needed to keep it somewhat steady and that type of thing. So it's more than just a little bit of the, the net, like boundary lines, but it is not a, a big expense. We already talked about that. So I just I just wanted some. And, um, but then, and then where will it be put up? I'm thinking we'll have to decide, but I'm thinking where the um, ice skate rink is right now. Okay. Because it's flat and it's in the center and okay. it doesn't take it. You know, then the space is still usable if no one's playing volleyball, and if they are, then they are. But otherwise, it's just a big empty field right there anyway. That's where I'm thinking is the best spot. But we can, okay, we can decide. And I did not, uh, we did not get um, any more concrete evidence, or I mean, a report from um, Beth at uh, Pizzo for the Fragmites on town property at 19, and some other stops that we're looking at um, collaborating with them on. So. Um, she contacted Joy and said she's still working on that and is behind from the holidays or whatnot. So we don't have an update from her yet on that either. Yeah, I don't think they started anything from spring or anything. Okay. And that's it. Um, Janice, I don't, you're not really public comments, so we don't have anyone else in the audience. And I, if anyone online has a comment to speak or use your reaction button to raise your hand. But I think everyone's unmuted. So, uh, this is, uh, I've got a question. This is okay, who is this? Hello? I'm, I'm sorry, can you just repeat who you are? Yeah, this is Paul Yadrin. Uh, and I just have a question. Uh, I heard about Stop 19. That's what I'm talking um, My question is Is there any drawings or what's going to happen with Stop 19? Last time I talked to Zach, he said that uh, Stop 19 had a budget or dollars uh, for the Stop 19, but I was wondering what is it going to be done down there? Yeah, are you talking about the removal of the invasive species, the Phragmites? Or was this more in regards to like a, um, a more of a step down path near the um, stairs? Yeah, the step down there, as well as uh, I, I talked to Zach and we put some benches down near the lake so people can sit there and just as a step uh, 20 and 18 to make it a little bit nicer for people. Because he said, now that the grass died, we can go in there and, and take that. And there is encroachment there at step 19. We all know that. So what and then a better seating, you know, a place to park tarts up at the top. And don't, we're not talking about taking out those benches there, the rock benches, because people like those, but a little more space on top so the wagons can be parked there. So I think I'm going to have to say we might have to table this. Zach is not here. And so I don't have any updates as to whether or not he dug into um, any sort of um, changes in, in making that step down a little bit easier by the by the stairs. Um, so the short story is I don't have an update. Yeah, the stairs are one thing, but he said there was money available now to fix that stop up nice, to put benches down there near the water, like on stop 20 and 18. And he said the money was appropriated for 2023. 
I have to say that all depends if they're beyond 106 feet from the center of Lakeshore Drive, or is it from the property line? Uh, it can't be more than 106 feet out, because uh, that's in our building code. I think I think what he's Paul's referring to is like some sort of just plan that would put more seating space or usable space. So I think um, I think probably the best thing to do is roll what you're talking about into our discussion at SAP 19 because there is um, some a lot of encroachment there and how about oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and. Yeah, um, yeah. Go ahead. No, I, and we talked about that grass down there. You know, they said it was for butterflies, but there was a lot of invasive plants, and they said it'd have to die off, and then we could go in there and level that off a little bit. Not level it, he said, because you can't touch the dunes, but we could put benches down there and things on that nature so people can sit down there and watch the sunset. Yeah, I think um, so. The all those invasive invasive species, the big fragmites, and maybe some of that milkweed too. But that's what we're waiting for this plan to come back from a woman who she came to our November meeting, um, and that's what they they do uh, work on that kind of stuff. So we're going to partner with them, hopefully, and get rid of that stuff, and then I think we'll tackle um, some improvement issues at 19 uh, when we're looking at in in general some of the stops that need. Um, that haven't been rehabbed and needed because there is room up top that I mean you can park your wagons on that grass that's to the east of the um stop. Oh, I, 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 know, I, I know that but it's just a mess it's not flattened out it's not you know you get wagons and they roll down the hill it's just a nice little area uh you know even you took the garbage cans out there there's some space over there that can be made into a nice parking area um uh, and the other thing is it, it, what we talked about too, and I'm going back to these benches down lower down there. So as that stop 20 and stop 18, you did a nice job. And a lot of stuff you did. We're just asking for what's in the plans for 19. Okay. Yeah. I think I think the, the short answer is we don't have any sort of concrete at all plan yet. Um, hopefully, let's keep working on that and um i'll talk to zach and see if i'm missing anything that maybe maybe he did we did run into um we still have the budget we can use our budget improvement money for this stuff right well he, he told me that was the stop nine right. was budget you uh appropriated the money so money for stop 19 for uh, 2023 Yes, um, I'll have Joy explain what happened yes. uh, with the town clerk's office when our budget was submitted to the state. Unfortunately, the park board budget was shorted by uh, nearly $100,000 by the clerk's office this year. So uh, we might be able to do something at stop 19 and this year and we might not. That's just the bottom line. So we did, we had budgeted for that and all other stocks. It wouldn't just affect 19, it would it would affect all the um, all of our, our stocks. We um our budget that we submitted and approved got altered uh, and what we sent in is not what we got back. So we have to work that out and see what kind of monies we do have available. So I guess there's two parts here to the question is that uh Scott 19 would fall in with um everything we have an issue of right now not being able to access the money that we did get that we did budget for in 2023 and then also just looking at what we what we want to do with it well, can you well, give me yeah. your address so we can follow up with zach or your last name i didn't hear you or your address is fine it's it's 1930 as more uh and my last name is yadron y-a-d-r-o-n I, I was there for a few meetings and I think it was June or not, July. And Zach told me we didn't have any money this year. And then come when we met at the stop, I met with Zach at the stop. He says, yes, the budget got approved and we could do some things down here. I could get Freddie here. We can put some nice benches like you did at 18, you did at 20, you did at 21, you did at all these other stops and 19 has kind of been left behind. So I kind of stepped to the table. I got some signatures around the neighborhood. I submitted those signatures. And, you know, people are willing, we'll, we'll even have some sweat equity out there to help. I mean, we just like to see our staff improved to where it's, 
up with the other stops around our area. Right. Yeah, I, I think that um, off the top of my head, in my opinion, we only have two, two stops that have some uh, issues that are really infringing on people's rights to use them. And it's 29 and 19 that need right. to. Yeah. So, um, and and yeah, that that every every when we just found out about our budget that this that the clerk's office right. did like um, three I, weeks I totally, ago. I totally forget about budgets. So I, I I I'm aware things get cut, but there's always some ways to get around not get around it. But there's some sweat equity. I can get volunteers there to help. I can do a lot of stuff. We just need to put the plans to the park district park board and go in that direction. So I appreciate all the help and I look forward to the next meeting in February. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, let, let me circle back up with Zach and see if there was any other, um, anything sure. done that I missed and then we'll we'll report back. And if you don't join us in February, we'll send you an update after. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think that's it. Cause that was the only participant we had on the, on the thing. So I'm going to make a moment or a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Let me end this.